So the new feature that Cartoon Animator 5 has introduced to its digital puppets is that we can build a um, sequence and embed it into the character as I mentioned earlier. And as I also mentioned earlier, this is something that I think is really important. So before I show you how all the triggers work, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how I've rigged in all the little sequences that are built for uh, Super Mario. I'm not going to show you all of them because as you can see there's a lot, but I'll show you a few examples. So as you can see, I've got like smile, apocalypse, open mouth, show teeth, all the different vitamins, happy, sad. So let's just have a look at, at some of the previews. So smile, I'm just going to press that. Let's have a look at some more expressive mouth. So happy. Woohoo. Sad. Scared. And the thing is, with 2D animation, this just isn't something that you can do with face tracking motion capture because a lot of these elements of the face have got to be done frame by frame or layered so this is why sequence animation is so important and how you can build a really impressive 2d character that really fits an ip known design so those are some of the mouths and i've also done that for the eyelids which are separate but i'll show you one at a time so so with the eyelids i have you know rise lower um Slight, tall, wide. Let's have a look at one of them blinks. And I've also done it for the eyebrows as well. So if I pick cross, and with this one, you would want to go with the eyelid. So let's say cross, you probably have that more narrow. See what I mean? Now, this is important because like, if I go to the mouth and if I get, let's say, an unimpressed mouth and press that, and if I go to the other eyelids and I go to a pit narrow with that one, and now I'll find the other eyebrow and I think it was cross that I had. So there you go. That's a full facial expression. And as you can clearly see, I can mix and match all of these different eyebrows and all of these different eyelids and all of these different mouths to make lots and lots and lots of expressions. And what I then do is that I bunch them together in different collections and that's how we end up with different...